The way you preserve a culture is by keeping your traditions. Mm -hmm. uh, and the best way to do that uh, as a chef is through food. Tradition is what defines your culture and defines your, your background. For me, it's, it's important to practice them. My name is Alex Erdmann. I'm originally from Germany and I always been a chef. How do I got here, actually? Uh, it's, it's a long story and a long journey because I, I never planned on being in America. I was born in Germany, Thuringia. It's called the Green Heart of Germany. My mom was an engineer and um, my, my father um, died in an accident, in a, a car accident. Lost him quite, quite early. And that um, changed my life a little bit. The, the good news is um, you become very independent. The uh, lesson learned from that was, you know, you, you take over and you take care of um, your family, your, your brother, and um, you move on. Being born in East Germany, uh, which is you know, a different culture than West Germany, seeing the wall coming down in 1989, being part of that revolution, you know, getting my, my chef uh, degree in, in Germany, becoming an officer in the German military, and then um, the war comes down. Use the opportunity to uh, go on and see the world. Going from uh, Austria, Switzerland, Israel, uh, to uh, London, uh, all the way to America. So what brought me to Orlando? I had an option to build another culinary and hospitality school. And I took it, especially since this is a unique location. So if you ever think about the best location in the world to build a culinary hospitality school, it's right here. Orlando is uh, a melting pot of cultures. It's a great place to be. I like that is a lot of different cultures here. So you feel comfortable. I have an exchange student this time. This is my second exchange student. She is, it's a girl from Germany. and. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is um, I believe in this kind of um, culture immersion. So the best way to learn American culture is if you're in it. That's how I learned English. As a German, we are really like beer. <laughs> we brew our own beer here. We have a small brewery here where we make uh, Valencia beer. The way I like to envision it is uh, something that relates from the beer into our program. And so our first beer was an orange ale. Yeah, so orange is the color, one of the colors from Valencia. So we got with that. The second beer was an, an ale, that a Belgian style ale that has a lot of fruit and citrus in it. So we made it like a citrus ale and we went with a more like um, yellowish color on that. Yeah, so it's the other color we have in our um, logo. We work with local breweries and also we work with one of our um, English uh, professors who has a great background in home brewing. And right now we're cultivating our own yeast, so we have um, a base to make beer from. Um, it's a tradition in Germany you do where um, you keep the yeast going and that's, that's your flavor, that's your beer. Uh, same with the bread, the yeast dough and you always keep some on the side so you can grow the next one and the next one and um, do that over uh, centuries. Here in downtown Orlando, we have an uh, amazing opportunity that just popped up. The Salvation Army approaching us and saying, what if you would help us cater our Thanksgiving lunch? We will be helping them to produce about 8,000 Thanksgiving lunch meals. That's gonna really utilize everything that we have here and um, we have the whole team on, 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 on board with that. It, it means a lot um, to go back and um, celebrate Thanksgiving like it's supposed to be. Not in a store, but, uh, in, in the community, which is a big deal for me because um, I do um, have that background where I um, not always have food. And um, maybe that's one of the reasons why I'm a chef. <laughs>